How's it going, tech fans? Welcome back to another edition of Tech Tomorrow. I'm Elric, your host, and check this out. Most of you guys all know that the Reference 9 series cards came out a couple of weeks ago to a very well-received audience. And it seems like the 970 card at this current time is the actual sweet spot of the entire launch. With that said though, the non-reference cards have hit the market and we have a really cool one from the people over at ASUS. Now this is their Strix and people are going, what the hell is Strix? Well, Strix derives from the Greek and Roman word for out. So that kind of clears that up. And they've had a few cards like this in the past as well. So this isn't actually like anything too new. What is really cool about the card though is the zero decibel cooling. Now what is that you guys are saying? Well zero decibel cooling means the fan does not move until you actually set the threshold for when it begins, which means the card will run completely quiet with no moving parts until it hits that certain heat threshold. Also great things are their DCU2 cooling, which means they got their direct copper, their two fans and all that other stuff. Other points about the card are total quality components all the way around. You're gonna see the card's very well made. It's not flimsy or anything like that at all. It's just a solid, well-built, well-performing card. With that said, let's take a look at the specs. The Strix 970 features four gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, and this stuff's actually really high quality Samsung memory. It features an 1114 megahertz base clock and a 1253 megahertz boost clock. It features 1664 CUDA cores and has a 7010 megahertz memory clock. The card size is in at 5.5 inches by 11 inches by 1.57 inches. A true lady pleaser. The card also features an upgraded 6.1 phase Digi plus VRM power delivery system with super alloy components instead of the reference card's four phase power supply using standard components. If you guys happen to watch us on launch day, you've seen that a lot of the reference card featured two six pin power connector. The Strix features a single eight pin power connector. As far as the outputs of the card go, it's pretty much the same song and dance we've seen before. Display port, HDMI, DVI-I, and DVI-D. So those are the specs, and obviously this is a damn good looking card, but hey, how does the card run? With that said, let's check out the benchmarks and rock out to the benchmark song. So that's it. All the specs, all the scores. You guys can see this card is a really good performer. And I feel that the 970 right now is the absolute sweet spot for nine series performance, as well as price versus performance. This card's priced right and it actually kicks a lot of ass. Now I know a big question on everybody's mind out there is like, hey man, how hot did this card run? Okay, under idle, 49 Celsius. Under full load, 69 Celsius. Couple things to note. The Zotec card, it's competitor to the 970 series. Under full load, the ASUS card ran much cooler, but under idle, it ran hotter. Now you guys are asking why? This is because of that zero decibel cooling. Unless you set it to come on, that fan's not moving, so it runs a little bit hotter when it's not doing anything. Like I said earlier in the video though, you can change the settings on this. So you have to make a choice. Do you want it to be silent? Or do you want it to be cooler? Now for those folks out there looking to buy a car, down below that like button, we will have pricing and availability. So if you're a user out there wanting to get their hot hands on this card, you'll be able to do so by following those links down below. Also, if you're a builder looking to do multi-card SLI with the 970 series, you can only do triple SLI setups. For quad, you're gonna need four cards and they're gonna have to be 980. I'm Elric here on Tech of Tomorrow. If you guys like what you see, sub to the channel and you guys can see more reviews from me here on on Tech of Tomorrow. Peace out.